Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Ali Khan. So this is the last and final video on the problems of cent measures of central tendency. So so many videos I have prepared explain each and every problem regarding hope. My regular viewers have gained a lot of knowledge, a lot of confidence on the topic of measures of central tendency. The last two problems I am going to explain you that marks the end. In the next video, I will start the next topic, measure of dispersion. So remember, if you want the complete command, watch all the videos till the end. Don't skip in between and don't join in between. That uh, whatever I am uh, I mean explaining, that is more important. Now, 23rd, 22nd problem. So I hope everybody is having the printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the solutions of the last two problems. Then I'll explain all the points. Come on, see the 22nd, second last problem. From the following data, calculate mean, median, mode. This type of problems will be frequently asked in examination. In one problem itself, it is asking you mean, median, as well as mode. Comprehensive problem. So the class intervals are 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, and 60 to 70. And frequency is given 7, 14, 18, 20, 11, 10. That's it. So here you can see calculation of mean, median and mode. The class intervals are given, frequencies are given. The total of the frequency is 80 and mid values. Mid values we require for calculating mean. For calculating arithmetic mean, we need the mid values. Now, how to calculate mid values? Lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. 10 plus 20 divided by 2, 15. 20 plus 30 divided by 2, 25. 30 plus 40 divided by 2. 35 like that mid values we have calculated now multiply f into m fm 7 into 15 105 14 into 25 350 18 35 630 like this fm we have calculated the total 3240 fm summation fm one more column we require for cf cumulative frequency this cf column we require for calculating the median now cumulative frequency the first frequency is 7 the so CF is also 7. Now you add up 7 plus 14, 21. 21 plus 18, 39. 39 plus 20, 59. 59 plus 11, 70. 70 plus 10, 80. The total of frequency must be equal to the last CF. That means our calculations are correct. Now we'll substitute the values in the formula. The first mean X bar is equal to summation FM by and this is the formula for continuous series. So we have calculated summation FM 3240 and we have calculated the CF. FM is required for calculating mean and CF is required for calculating the median, right? So mean is equal to summation FM by N. 3240 divided by 80, you will get 40.5. Mean is over. Now median. First, we have to calculate the median class. So median class is equal to size of n by 2 that is 80 by 2 40 locate 40 or next higher in cf column the corresponding class is the median class so higher than 40 a higher than 40 is 59 so against 59 the class is 40 to 50 so here we can say median class is 40 to 50 the formula for median is l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into i L stands for lower limit. What is the lower limit here? 40. N by 2. N by 2 already you have calculated. 40. Minus CF. CF means cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. So 40 to 50 is the median class. Preceding is 30 to 40. This is 39. So CF is 39. I am rounding off. This CF is 39. And frequency of the median class is 20. So here 39 divided by 20 into 10. 10 is the width. Width of the median class. Then 40 minus 39 divided by 20 into 10, you will get 0.5. So 40.5 is the median. That's it. Now we are required to calculate the mode. Mode is that value which occur more number of times. That means that class where the frequency is the highest. 
so mode can be calculated either by inspection or making grouping and analysis so whenever it is asking you to calculate the mean median and mode so don't go for grouping analysis directly by inspection we can take otherwise the problem will become very large so here by inspection you can see what is the highest value highest frequency in the frequency column what is the highest frequency 20 is the highest frequency what is the class for this 20 40 to 50 so we can say the model class is 40 to 50 mode lies between 40 to 50 the formula for mode l plus delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 into i now l lower limit is 40 here delta 1 delta 1 means fo minus f1 fo is the frequency of the model class here this is the model class frequency is 20 this 20 is f4 pre-model class is f1 pre-model class before so this 20 is f4 then 18 is f1 and 11 is f2 the so preceding is f1 succeeding is f2 then 20 is the f4 so 20 minus 18 20 minus 18 2 Similarly, 20 minus 11, that is 9. So, delta 1, 2 and delta 2, 9. I, width of the median model class is 10. So, we substitute L is equal to 40. Then, delta 1 is 2. Delta 1 plus delta 2, 2 plus 9 into 10. So, 2 divided by 9, 10, 11 into 10. So, 20 by 11, that comes to 1.82. 41.82. This is the mode. That's all. So in this one problem itself, we have calculated the mean, we have calculated median, and we have calculated mode. And remember, this type of problems will be frequently asked in the examination. Same problem, we have to calculate all the three averages, mean, median, mode. That's it. Now last and final problem, that is 23rd problem. Find the mean and median of the following distribution. Only mean and median, it is asking no mode. So wages 20 to 30, 30 to 40. It's a continuous series. The number of workers, these are the frequency. So calculation of mean and median. Wages are given 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70. And respective number of workers, these are the frequencies given. We calculate mid value for calculating mean. Arithmetic mean ke liye we require mid values. So 20 plus 30 divided by 2, 25. 30 plus 40 divided by 2, 35. So in this way, these are the mid values. Now multiply F into M, 3 into 25, 5 into 35, 20 into 45, 10 into 55, 5 into 65. These are the FM values. So total FM is 20, 25. And the N is equal to 43. Now CF column we require for calculating median. The first, class, first frequency 3. So 3 is the CF. 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 20, 28. 28 plus 10, 38. 38 plus 5, 43. That's it. The last here also you are getting 43. That means our calculations are correct. Now mean is equal to summation fm by n. 20, 25 divided by 43. 47.09 is the arithmetic mean. That's all. Now median. Median class is equal to size of n by 2. n is 43. 43 by 2, 21.5. Locate 21.5 or next higher in CF column. So 21.5 or next higher means 28. So what is the class for this 28? 40 to 50. So 40 to 50 is the median class. Median class is 40 to 50. Now apply the formula. Median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into I. Lower limit is 40. N by 2 is 21.5. CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class before the median class so before the median class is 30 to 40 so what is the value of CF here 8 so here I have taken 8 F is equal to frequency of the model class so model class is 40 to 50 frequency is 20 so this 20 and I is equal to width of the model class width is how much 10 I is equal to 10 so 40 plus 21.5 minus 8 divided by 20 into 10, you will get 6.75. So 46.75 is the median value. That's all. 
23 problems I have explained on problems on measures of central tendency. In this 20 problems, different type of problems on mean, median, mode I have explained, right? Now, in the next, uh, I mean, video, I'm going to start the new topic called measures of dispersion. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share my channel among your group, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe my channel and lastly, give your comments on these videos. Inshallah, in the next video, we'll start the next topic.